Welcome back, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Santa Maria to Santa Barbara. Looks like it's either foggy or smoky, but I've been given takeoff clearance, so let's take off the parking brake and get going. I wonder if we get above the smoke or fog, we'll be able to see clearly. Let's gain some altitude. About three years ago, I drove Drove to Santa Maria when we had Santa the Maria California wi wildfires, wildfires affecting the Bay Area. I needed a few days of fresh air. I was starting to feel kind of sick. And actually that's been happening just recently with the recent bout of fires. So kind of interesting to fly here. All right, I'm going to attempt to switch hands over so I can use the mouse to turn on autopilot. Let him take over navigation. Uh, okay, I think that's I think that's working. Gotta keep an eye on that throttle speed. We're going a little fast. I've set a flight level of 3,500 feet, so once we're on track, I'll engage that. And then we can kind of see if we can figure out what this, what all this is. I'm a little surprised they let me take off, but it's not super thick, I guess. It's still going a little bit fast. So let's go in, turn on flight level change. And let's set a speed that's more reasonable. Say 90. Okay, I'm going to go get some more gas, but should be able to get there. Yeah, I just can't see anything. You are leaving my airspace frequency change improved. Santa Maria Tower, call one nine or one frequency change. Los Angeles Center, CA 191, is type Cessna Skyhawk, four miles southeast of Santa Maria. Request flight following. CA 191, Los Angeles Center. Squawk 32205. Ah, oh, it's clearing up now. Squawk wow. 32205, CA 191. Those hills are beautiful. Let's take a look over there. contact, four miles southeast of Santa Maria, 1,500 feet. Now, my graphics card isn't up to snuff, so they don't look that great close up. But Copy, call one nine or one. That will change soon with a new graphics card. I'm going to go outside and take a look. I find the instruments a little easier to deal with in the outside view because they're all laid out, easy to see. Uh, they're not jumping around on the screen. This is very pretty. I'm going to look down and see what it looks like from the overhead. Uh, just use your imagination to fill in all the uh, missing detail. So we are on a kind of slow climb up to 3,500 feet. Feels comfortable. Uh, curious to see what it looks like over towards the ocean. A lot of fog. Call one nine or one. 
It's a beautiful day in simulated California. Uh, it's probably a bit smokier than this in real life. But it looks nice. Los Angeles Center Skywest 3430 is out of flight level 360 for 10,000 feet. I looked up some facts about Santa Maria. 15 beaches, 34 tasting rooms. Um, the Santa Maria Valley is the perfect home base to get more for less, okay. Um, apparently they're known for their barbecue, especially their tri-tip barbecue. One of my favorite ways to barbecue is tri-tip. Um, they're part of a Santa Maria, Santa Barbara metro area. So that's where we're going, the other side of that. Seemed very pretty, very clean, very monochromatic, unfortunately, but that's to be expected, I guess, in certain places. Okay, as we level off, let me go back inside. Well, actually, we're not there yet. We're going to 35 probably. But I'm going to go inside anyway, reset the view, and let's just hang out in here for a while. Try tip barbecue sounds really good right about now. I see a bunch of players. I kind of wonder if I should leave those tags on or not. I like seeing who's in the sky with me. I don't know if my viewers would really find that interesting or not, but if you have a comment, leave it in the description. Leave a comment under the description. Now we're starting Santa to level Barbara off, so I'm going to drop back on the slider. Call one niner, one Santa Barbara approach, continue as planned. Altimeter two niner, decimal niner four. You get such a nice stable ride with the autopilot and control. I think after a lot of practice, I could probably make a flight pretty stable, but I'm not anywhere near that right now. Nice to be able to zoom in and look around from inside. I've been to Santa Barbara a few times, driving there. It's also a very pretty place. Looks uh, Spanish influenced. They've got a great pier with a bunch of stuff going on. Um, I guess a lot of bikes for rent and things. A lot of shopping. So I really enjoyed going to Santa Barbara. It would be interesting to fly over it in simulation.
Air seems very calm. We're not really changing in airspeed much. Um, I guess we've got a tailwind of 10 knots. Or is that a headwind? I don't know my aeronautics. Love all the detail in the hills. Let's give a look down. So I also looked up some facts about Santa Barbara. Uh, lots of bike trails. Let's see, what do they say here? There's beautiful and then there's Santa Barbara, okay. Yep, the beach is beautiful. I remember seeing a lot of people playing in the water. Uh, Santa Barbara Scenic Drive. Don't miss Santa Barbara in October. Well, I bet a lot of people aren't going to be doing that much travel. First timer's guide to Santa Barbara. Lots of outdoor dining. Yep, that makes sense. Instagram worthy locations. I don't use Instagram, but I'd have to agree a lot of picturesque locations. Wellness getaway, that's interesting. That sounds nice. Um, so yeah, a lot of stuff to do there. A lot more stuff to do there apparently than Santa Maria. Santa Maria seems to be about tri-tip barbecue and wine tasting. Santa Barbara is about a whole bunch of other stuff too. I don't know where the airport is in relation to those mountains. I may have to climb if I have to go over them. Kind of looks like I do. I need to find a good flight planning site for flight simulators. I've seen a few in other videos. Um, it would be nice to be able to figure out some of the vertical stuff, not just the horizontal when planning a flight. I kind of get surprised sometimes by suddenly having to climb up, get out of the way of something. I'm going to go ahead and get us up to 5,000 just in case. So we are holding at 3,500, 4,500, and flight level change. And I'm going to slow this down a little bit. All right. Give me some gas, and we should start climbing. Looks like somebody pretty close over here. Somebody over here. I'd love to follow somebody in on a landing sometime, um, or the other way around, and you know actually see another player. All I usually see is just tags or strobe lights at night. Points of interest. Shepherd Ranch, maybe? I'm not sure. Or maybe it's the close, oh, it's the close by uh, C25C.
I just realized you could find somebody in the air, or you could active pause, and they could active pause, and then you could sort of sit there and wave at each other, or maybe even, I don't know, go into a party or something. That'd be kind of cool. Although the last time I used active pause was in the middle of recording one of my videos, and everything looked fine on the screen, but suddenly it started complaining about stalling. And so, um, and then when I, when I, when I went out of active pause, I couldn't figure out how to get the plane back, so I had to abandon. It seemed like what happened was I was, I active paused while autopilot was going, and so it seemed like autopilot was trying to compensate for the plane not moving. <laughs> and so when I got out of, um, when I got out of octave pause, the trim was minus 100%. So he was trying to dip and get speed up or whatever. But anyway, next time I'll turn the autopilot off, I guess. Kind of curious what this is down below us. Okay, we're starting to level off. Looks a bit like the altitude adjustment was a good idea. You can see the horizon line. I think that tells us that we're fine. It's a beautiful lake over there. Let me go back inside because I can go over here and zoom in on it. No idea what lake that is. I'm gonna have to get better at doing my geographical research before I start recording. Very interesting place. I guess it's mostly wine vineyards, kinda of looks like it. Get over how pretty that is. Okay, good. That wasn't for us. I don't have ILS capabilities, so. Again, that's not us. He's repeating the last traffic, I think. So we've got this beautiful valley and lake over here, Crawford, and the Pacific Ocean over there. All right, so I guess the airport's just going to be on the other side of that mountain. Probably about the time we reach it, the landing guide will show up on the screen. All right, I'm going to start dropping altitude. What I'm going to do, in fact, is take over from autopilot. And we're going to need to get rid of some of this altitude kind of quickly. I say that because the airport's actually pretty close. It's you know, 11 and a half nautical miles, but you enter the landing pattern much earlier than that. I'm 
take off the trim. That's interfering a little bit. Okay. Alright, I can eat up some of this excess speed by climbing again. Like we kind of do need to climb a little bit. Santa Barbara Tower Car 191 is 1 1 miles northwest with uniform to land. Okay, I can already see the landing pattern just past the mountain here. I think we've dropped in altitude enough to get there at a good altitude. Seems like they're usually around 2,000 feet. We do have a ways to go, but I think we'll be okay. A little closer to the mountaintop than I'd like to be, but we'll be fine. Alright, so I now just have to get my altitude down, get into the landing pattern, and slow way down. I'm using a flight stick. I think it'd be a little easier with an actual yoke. So I think at some point I'll get that. I'm interested in simulated helicopters as well, so the stick will be perfect in that case. Yeah, okay, going a little fast, I'm gonna eat up some of that speed. But we do need to keep climbing, I mean, sorry, keep descending. A little off the flight path, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Okay, we can afford to drop a little faster. I put in KA for Conius Air and it's saying Ka. I was hoping it was going to say Kilo Alpha or something, so I'll have to see if I can tweak that. Okay, a little fast. It's a little hard to see the three-dimensionality of the landing pattern. Um, I thought I was supposed to enter the runway on the north side, and it looks like I am, but I have to enter the landing pattern from the south side. So get ready to do that. I don't think we need to descend anymore at the moment. I think we're at a good altitude. I do need to burn off this speed. Okay, so I can see it curve around uh, counterclockwise. So I'll get ready to go over there. So 
see if I can burn off just a little more of the speed. The turn will help also. It's going to want me to go lo below 60 probably once, once I get in there. Maybe below 65. Okay, so we're just using up some potential energy. I'm going to put the flaps on in a minute once we get to a slower speed. That white line on the airspeed indicator shows where it's okay to use the flaps. All right, burn off some of the speed again. Uh, starting to stutter, a lot of extra details not normally having to do. Hopefully it's not going to actually crash sometimes I've had that happen. I'm going way too fast, but we're going to put the flaps down. That's going to help. That will slow us down quite a bit. Well, if I can maintain this speed, this is perfect. Perfect landing speed. Just drop the throttle at the last few moments and drift, drift down into a nice smooth landing. I'm going to have to be prepared to give it some gas just to, to make sure I don't stall. Another turn here at the end. Okay, now we're going a little too fast. Let me uh, let me drop it down. Find some kind of equilibrium. But this feels good. Feels like the wind is nice and calm. It's not to be a good, a safe landing. I made the stall lady angry. Okay, as soon as I'm sure we don't need any more gas, I'll shut that off. A bit early. Call one nine one contact ground on one two one decimal seven. So not a perfect landing, but going to one two one decimal seven. I don't think there's any damage. I should really turn there. I think it's all right. Let's go back and go that way if I can find it. I think what we're supposed to do then is stop here and check in. Set the parking brake for a moment. Let's see. Santa Barbara Ground. Request taxi to parking. Santa Barbara Ground, call one nine or one request taxi to parking. Call one nine or one taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway Charlie Delta cross runway two five Delta Foxtrot. 
Now, I wouldn't have any idea where, where to go if it didn't put the... Using taxiway Charlie Delta cross runway two five Delta Foxtrot call one nine or one. Didn't put the guide to the screen. Okay, take out the parking brake. And here we go. I feel like I'm heading forward into the wind, not gliding forward like I usually do. Sounds very windy also. Oh, I should put the flaps up. And that will help. Alright, so turn the corner. They should have a parking spot set up for me somewhere. Oh, and this is where it said I needed to cross the runway. So I'm wondering, do I need to talk to them? Let's see. At least I need to make sure that there isn't any other traffic on the runway. A little hard to tell. Alright, well. It'll tell me if I've got to say something to them. Okay, yeah, nothing for me to do except just go across. So try to work out using both the rudder and the brakes for steering. But it can be handy to use both. For instance, I can slow down here and turn at the same time, although it's not enough of a turn. I wasn't going fast enough, so we just have to do this. really don't want to run over the ground crew. That would be very embarrassing. And we're here. Okay. Let's go inside. First of all, set the parking brake. And we will shut the engine down. I usually use the keyboard, but I'm curious. Well, I'm curious where the textures went for the bottom of the airplane. Oh, it's the marker. Okay. I'm wondering, though, how do you actually shut off the engine? I think I accidentally pulled the throttle. Is that it? Oh well, I'll figure that out later. Control Shift E will shut it off. Oh, that sounded nasty. Just like a real engine that had a little residual gas, I guess. Interesting. 
and we're done. Thank you for watching.